Greetings, this is Pastor Christian as we've been talking in our previous videos about the doctrine of the Trinity, what the Bible teaches us about God. We have said in the previous videos that God from all eternity exists in three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And these three persons are the same in substance, equal in power and glory. These persons have one essence. There's only one God who is three persons. These persons must never be distinguished in their essence because they all have the one essence. They're one God. Uh, all the persons of the Trinity are co-equal and co-eternal. But the way the persons of the Trinity are distinguished uh, is by their personal properties. The Father begets the Son from all eternity. The Son is begotten, eternally begotten of the Father. And the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. And also as we think about our own redemption, how the triune God saves us in His mercy and grace, we see that it's the Father who chose us from before the foundation of the world in Christ Jesus. It's the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us and accomplished our redemption on the cross. And it's the Spirit who applies the redemption of Christ to us in our effectual calling. And so I wanted to very briefly talk today about the redemption of Christ. What does that mean? The word redemption has to do with uh, buying someone back from slavery, rescuing someone from bondage. Jesus Christ, in redeeming us, saved us from our slavery to sin and from the tyranny of the devil he rescued us and he brought us to God the Lord Jesus Christ alone is the Savior Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4 says but when the fullness of the time had come God sent forth his son born of a woman born under the law verse 5, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. In the fullness of the time, God sent forth his son. John three sixteen. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And he saved us by... Uh, by obeying the law perfectly in our behalf and then by going to the cross and offering himself up as the sacrifice, the Lamb of God who died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures on the cross. He paid the penalty for our sins. He satisfied divine justice and then he was buried and on the third day he was raised from the dead through his perfect obedience to the law of God his death on the cross, his resurrection, through the person and work of Christ, we have reconciliation with God. We have forgiveness of our sins. Jesus paid the penalty for our sins so that when we believe upon him, trust in him alone for our salvation, God forgives us and he gives us the righteousness of his son, clothes us with the perfect righteousness of his son so that there's no condemnation for those who are united to Christ Jesus, who are in Christ Jesus. And so I wanted to conclude this uh, short series by calling you to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Depart from self-reliance, depart from your merits, depart from uh, your, your faith in your good works, and rest upon Christ alone for your salvation. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In Christ, we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Thank you.